Let me talk to you a little bit about the cost of training. Ages and ages ago, I had a client who wanted to debate with me about the cost of training. And what he was saying is, training is so expensive, we can't afford to do it. These employees are turning over so quickly that I don't want to pay all this money to train them then have them go down the road and work for my competitor, and my competitor got the benefit of the training I'm giving them. And I tried everything. I tried absolutely everything to get this guy to understand the importance of training. Are you kidding me? The importance of training. You don't get this? How long have you been in the restaurant business? You have How many employees? You don't get this. I couldn't get him to get over the hump. I mean, literally, I couldn't get him to get over the hump. Until I finally said, I remember it specifically, we took a little break. I get a little hot around the collar sometimes when I'm dealing with thick-headed people. So we took a little break. I got myself a, a beverage of some kind. He got himself a beverage. And I, if I remember right, I walked outside and took a, took a walk around the building just to try to collect myself. And I came back with one line. And the one line sold him. And I said to him, I won't share the name or the company, but I said to him, you know what is more expensive than training? And he went through his whole litany, and I kept coming back, no, no, no. But do you know what is significantly more expensive than training? And he went through his whole litany. He's wanting to argue. I kept coming back, no, no, no. you, you got to think this through. What's more expensive than training employees and having them leave. And he said, I don't know. Not training them and having them stay. That's more expensive than training. Not training them and having them stay. Doesn't get any more expensive than that. Training them and having them leave happens. It happens. I wouldn't worry about it. Interestingly enough, not training them and having them stay happens more. I've now spent years thinking about that discussion. If you look at restaurants, for the most part, if you train the employees, you truly give them your guts. You truly train them. You show them that you want them to be better people, not just for you and the business, but for them. If you train them, for the most part, they do stay. They do stay. Because when you pour commitment in, guess what happens? They pour commitment in. I call it emotional deposits, emotional withdrawals. It's just like a bank account. The more emotional deposits I make, the more emotional withdrawals I can take. Try to go down to your local bank. Go in the local bank. Don't set up an account. Say to the local banker, yeah, I'd like to draw $1,000. Out of the bank. You got an account? Well, no. They'll be calling the paddy wagon. Trust me. Okay, well, how is that different with people? With people, it's pour in the emotional deposits. Pour in the emotional deposits. Pour in the emotional deposits. And then, if by chance I get pissed off during the intensity of a peak period, if by chance I say something the wrong way, if by chance I do something that hurts their feelings, I'm human, I'm intense, it happens. But if by chance it happens, I have enough deposits, they're not going to hold it that big a deal against me. They know I care. They know I want them to succeed. They know I want them to be the greatest champions they can be. And so a few withdrawals, no big deal. And that starts in business with 
training. Trust me, he got it. To this day, he's actually one of the best trainers in the industry. His company has very low turnover. He understands what it takes to train. He understands what it takes to give the deposit.